Hello students, how are you all? Uh, one more small concept from the bridge course called derivatives. This we are going to learn in detail in our first PC classes, don't worry. This again I'm taking for uh, not for mass physics, okay? Just an introduction. Uh, in physics you are going to learn, okay, maybe first chapter from this term only called derivatives. So it's better to know exactly or maybe uh, what do you mean by derivative? Not exactly you are going to learn uh, in the regular class as well as in second PUC, okay? Uh, you are going to hear this word in physics, so you should know what it is. So derivatives, it's a measure of change. What do you mean by measure of change? For example, suppose a car is moving from okay, one place to another place, from point A to point B. No, it will, you know, it will move in a different, different speed. Suppose it is moving uh, here up to A to this A1 with a uh, 50 km per hour, like that, A1 to A2 with a different speed, 60 km per hour, maybe A2 to A3, maybe road is not good, so maybe 40 km per hour, like that. You know, it may not go in a constant speed, definitely there will be change in speed. Now, this tool will be used to measure, this tool will be used to measure how change is happening. How? This, this change in velocity is happening. Maybe in 10th uh, standard or maybe in 9th standard you learn what do you mean by velocity. Did you remember? Anyone know? Maybe you know about this term called velocity. What do you mean by velocity? Maybe you heard the definition like this. It is a rate of change of displacement with respect to time, right? If you not heard okay, about this in the lower class, maybe in physics first question you are going to learn. Actually velocity is nothing but rate of change of displacement with respect to time. That means here, see, from th for this displacement, the speed is 50 km per hour with respect to time. From this position to this position, the speed is different, 60 km per hour. A2 to A3 is 40 km per hour, or some for other different displacement, the speed may vary. So, the derivative is nothing but, it's a measure of change. It is a measure of change. You are measuring how change is happening, and that is called rate of change. Okay? So, maybe you know about this. This is denoted by ds by dt. Right? But what is S? S is nothing but displacement. What is T? It's nothing but time. Okay? So this will be written as ds by dt. This is called derivative. This is nothing but derivative of displacement with respect to time or in other words, rate of change of displacement with, other, with respect to time or in other words, it's called velocity. Just remember that derivative means the rate of change of a function with respect to variable. In other words, it's nothing but measure of change. If you want to measure how, how change is happening, how change is happening, then you're going to use this tool. It's just a one mathematical tool to learn or maybe to understand how change is happening. Okay, let me take one more example to make this concept very clear. Okay, this is, uh, if, you are, if you know the meaning of what you mean by derivative, in physics, you are going to apply this very easily. Otherwise, simply how to bat, maybe you will not get the connection to the topic, okay, from the word derivative. So, please remember that. So, let me take one example. If possible, if a car is moving, it's pr practically maybe not possible. If pra car is moving from position A to position B with a fixed kilometer or the speed or the velocity, 60 kilometer per hour. Suppose a car is moving from point A to point B without any variation in the speed, 60 kilometer per hour. Now, you can say that there is no change, right? There is no change. Suppose if you use this tool, derivative to measure this change, what answer you will get? Yeah, what is the answer you should get? Zero. The measure of change of the speed of this car from position A to position B is zero, right? Why you are getting zero? Because there is no change. If there is no change, the, this definite this tool will show answer is zero. Now, suppose if there is no change in the speed or the velocity, huh? Then which is zero actually? You know about this. Which is zero? What do you mean by rate of change of velocity with respect to time? As I told here, 
it is represented as dv by dt. What is the meaning of that? Derivative of v with respect to time. But definitely, measuring velocity or measure, measure of change in velocity with respect to time is here. There's no change at all, so zero. And you know this is nothing but what? You know this acceleration. So maybe just because of these two concepts, this term is directly connected to physics. So please remember. The derivative means measure of change. You are measuring how change is happening. In this example, you can see there is no change. So the measure will give answer 0. It's just like uh, you, uh, you, this just like one uh, device, for example, calculator. If you input input 1 minus 1, you know there is no change in that. So what it shows 0. Just like that, it's a one device or you can consider a tool it will help you to measure this change. Here there is no change, so you are getting zero. If there is a change, you will get some answer. And that is called acceleration. Change in velocity with respect to time is called acceleration. And if there is a change, here definitely you can see some answer. Definitely you can see here some answer because there is a lot of variation in the speed or the velocity. There is a lot of changes in the velocity. So 100% derivative of V with respect to time t will give some real number because there is a measurement, there is a change in the velocity. So I hope I can write a conclusion for the derivative. Derivative means measure of change or in other words rate of change of velocity with respect to time or rate of change of displacement like okay. This is an example actually. So in general if I write, if I write in general definition of this term, it is nothing but rate of change of anything, let it be y with respect to any variable let it be x rate of change of y with respect to x is known as derivative of something and is denoted by it is denoted by dy by dx if you see anywhere dy by dx in uh, maybe in uh, for y some other function maybe for x some other variable don't worry it means you are measuring change or it is known as rate of change of y with respect to x and it is also called this is also called as derivative it is also called derivative of y with respect to x remember it is also known as derivative of y with respect to x uh, in detail you are going to learn in my regular classes don't worry this is required for physics so I just introduce I'll give you some formula uh, if you want, I'll show you why the formula is like that. For one, one, only one formula, remember, not for all, because in detail we are going to learn this year and next year about this in mathematics only. See, this one particular formula you are going to use in physics. Differentiation of x power n with respect to x, where, where n is a constant, where n is a constant, where n is a constant. And you are going to use this as a n into x to the power n minus 1. So this one particular formula you required in physics, maybe along with this, uh, anyway you know about trigonometric functions, right? I will give you the first three trigonometric functions formula, it may help and remember you are going to understand why it is like this in my regular classes, not more than okay required in this introduction class. See suppose you, if you want to measure how sin x is changing with respect to x, then the answer is cos x. Similarly, how cos x is changing with respect to x, then the answer is minus sin x. Don't worry why answer is like this, don't worry about the reason. I will definitely help you in my regular class of derivatives, please remember that. So one more I will give you, more than that is not, definitely not required in physics. So if you know this three, four different concepts of mass under the heading bridge course, definitely can begin your first PUC, uh, maybe for all physics, chemistry or mass, okay, very easily, okay. So uh, I completed that uh, one small introduction course called bridge course uh, with the first concept as a logarithm, next concepts as a limits and the last concept as a derivatives. I'll conclude with one sentence, remember these three terms, logarithms, limits and derivative, it will help you in not only in mass, in physics and chemistry. Thank you.